Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generate Press. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to host the font locally instead of using a service like Google Fonts. We will use a Google font called Red Rose for this demonstration. However, this process will work for any kind of custom font files you might have. Let's get started. The first step is to download our font. For this, we will open up adding local fonts documentation article and open up this link. Then we can use the search field here to search for our font, which is red rose in this case. The font helper tool allows you to select the variant you will be using. The more you check, the heavier your page will be. So make sure to only check the ones you need. We will skip the CSS part first and go ahead and download our font files. Let's go ahead and unzip our font file. Now that we have our font files, we need to upload them to our server. By default, the WordPress media library doesn't allow us to upload the font files due to some security reasons. We can allow these files to be uploaded by adding the function here. Once we're done, we can remove this function. I will be using the plugin code snippet to add the function. You can always add it using a child theme if you're already using one as well. Let's add a new snippet. Give it a name. And paste our code. Click save changes and activate. And you're ready to go. Let's upload our font files. Make sure to select all of them. And we can now open one of them. We will click copy URL to clipboard and paste this in a notepad file. Then we want to edit this link slightly to remove the file name. And go ahead and copy this new edited link. Head back to our font helper and paste this in this field. Now let's copy the CSS Head back to our site Go to the customizer Additional CSS And paste it in Our font should now be ready to use Let's go to topography Add font, font family name, red rose. Toggle off Google font as we're self hosting it. Add topography. We will target primary menu items. Select our font and you can see it. Let's do another one. Archive content title. Select our font. There it is.
Lastly, we can go back to our dashboard, go to the code snippets plugin, and disable the function we use to upload the font files. Go to our site, you can see the font still works. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.